Hey, what's up? This is Ben with Wild Prep, and today we're going to talk about the anatomy of a kipping pull-up. So pretty much, I'm going to take every single little piece of the perfect kipping pull-up. We're going to put it together so that you can take your kipping pull-ups to the next level and understand exactly what's causing those inefficiencies. If you like the videos that I've been posting, if you just recently followed Wad Prep on YouTube, make sure that you go to wadprep.com and I'm gonna send you free training that's gonna help you RX every single movement in this sport of fitness. So let's talk about the kipping pull up. The first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have the correct grip. So I like to grip just outside my shoulder. So I jump up, I establish a hollow body position, and I grip just outside the shoulders. I always recommend gripping with your thumbs wrapped around the bar. I know some people go with that overhead grip or the, the overhand grip. That's what I call the suicide grip. I don't like it because as soon as you lose grip, you can fly off the bar and you don't have that thumb locking you down to the bar. Next, after we have our grip and we have the hollow body position, it's time to extend into the arch position. So this is a good gymnastic position where my legs are tight, my toes are pointed, I extend, I'm keeping my core nice and tight, and it's putting me into that, into that arch position on the bar. Once we've done that, now I'm closing myself back into a hollow body position, making sure that I utilize that momentum that I've generated, and I start to hinge my shoulders back. So I'm thinking shoulders up and away from the pull-up bar, almost like I'm doing a toes bar. So I pull up, I'm in that standing position, and then I go to hollow, and then I start to pull myself up. So as I'm drifting up and away from the bar, I'm gonna reach a weightlessness point. So this is the point where I'm essentially at the apex of getting my shoulders up and away from the bar. Right at or right before you reach that weightlessness, the apex, you want to pop your hips, okay? So as I'm floating up away from the bar, I then pop my hips from that strong hollow body position. I pop my hips and then pull myself directly into the bar. So it's a, it's a very quick one-two punch, but I let my shoulders rise up, pop my hips, pull directly into the bar. When I pull, it's really important to pull with your shoulders down or elbows down. So I'm pulling up and into the bar, but I'm not pulling like this because this isn't very powerful, okay? This is powerful. You're, you're able to use your biceps. You're gonna be using your back muscles. If I just go like this, then it's purely the muscles in between your scaps. You're not really using, utilizing your biceps as, as much as you should, so that's a little bit weaker. So keep those elbows down. Now, right after we reach our chin above the bar, okay? Notice I'm not going like this. This isn't a good position, okay? I'm keeping my chin neutral. I pull my chin above the bar. As soon as I hit that point, then I push away, okay? So as I push away, I'm pushing my shoulders back to where they came from and I'm putting my feet out in front, I know you can't see my feet down here, but I'm putting my feet out in front and reestablishing a hollow body position. So I'm essentially pressing rewind on the previous movement. So I pulled up, push away, I'm in that hollow body position, then I lower myself down, get to my extended position, and then right back into the next rep. And you'll notice, as long as there aren't any gaping holes in those steps, you will be able to keep your momentum and keep generating kipping pull-ups, you know, rep after rep after rep. Really quick, before you attempt any kipping movement, especially kipping pull-ups, make sure that you can perform three or four strict pull-ups in a row unbroken. I hope this video helps you get a better understanding about what a kipping pull-up is, all of the little details, and helps you put it together to take your performance to the next level. If you're interested in more training tips like this. If you want to take your pull-ups to the next level, make sure you go to wadprep.com. You can click the link in the description or any of the floating bars up on the screen. And that's gonna take you to a place where you can enter your name and email address and I'm gonna send you a bunch of free training specifically surrounding the pull-ups and getting better with them. Also, if you haven't, make sure that you subscribe to the Wad Prep YouTube channel. Thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't. And last but not least, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think and I will talk to you next week.